to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals, and JSA Radio, the voice for tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. I'm Jamie Scott Kataya, joining me with John Hyduke, the Chief Operating Officer of Tata Communications. John, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. We're glad to have you here at the NJFX, that's New Jersey Fiber Exchange launch. Today's a huge day, and the relationship between NJFX and Tata certainly on display today. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Uh, with NJFX, uh, Tata Communications, we're both an investor and a partner. Uh, we were alongside Gil when he originally conceived the idea. We uh, put, uh, we, being next to the cable landing station, we decided to invest as well. Gil got started about a year ago, uh, put up the building, and now uh, we're looking to partner with him for offering our connectivity solutions to customers and utilizing his brand new tier three data center that we're standing in. And let's talk about your amazing connectivity solutions. Obviously, global name, global player. Uh, what's the latest and greatest with Tata? Well, with Tata, we have a lot of things going on. Uh, I'm particularly excited about more link-ups with data centers such as this, okay? And specifically, what makes this unique is it's right next to the cable landing station. So, you know, 75 yards from here, we have two subsea Atlantic cables going to Europe, and we're going to have a, a link that will be able to get to Latin America as well. So when you look at, like, what's happening in the future, as more and more enterprises are migrating to cloud computing, et cetera, having a Tier 3 data center basically right next to the cable landing stations are good, really going to be able to drive unique and new connectivity solutions that weren't available before. Yeah. And it's so true, having that direct subsea cable access it eliminates a lot of those old backhaul solutions and there's a lot more flexibility and, and speed. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about that? Well, absolutely. And depending on the application, certain things are very latency sensitive, whether it's gaming, some of the financial applications, um, and you, you really want to pick a location where you have very good diverse connectivity. In addition, it gives you a real breadth of where you need to get to. And what's unique about this is with, with the, the systems that we have, we already have uh, a network uh, that connects a lot of the major exchanges in the world. For customers that want to come here, we're going to be able to get them to London, and from London we'll be able to get them to Hong Kong. So it's really going to create a unique solution for a lot of the enterprises when they look at this as a, a place to put their uh, gear for future connecti connectivity and cloud-based needs. And the customers, of course you mentioned enterprise, other carriers as well since this is a carrier neutral facility. Um, basically any large bandwidth network operators, is, is that the play here? Any large bandwidth network operators, because um, the overall goal here again is to create a bit of an ecosystem. We have quite a few carriers here in addition to ourselves, right? That provides a wealth of choices, all right? Also levels the playing field for the enterprises. And most importantly, given the, the location, which will be a bit different than what you know, traditionally in the past, data centers were sometimes built where they were convenient for the enterprise, not for necessarily connectivity needs. Now, as more and more things migrate to the cloud, you're seeing a bit more of a new architecture where the data centers are going up closer to where there's a lot more options connectivity-wise. John, I couldn't have said it better myself. You're wonderful on this topic. I appreciate your thoughts here today. We look forward to hearing more news from Tata. Thank you for tuning in and, and being here with us on JSA TV. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.